Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, I would like to share the Marilyn series of Loan Seeking X. As usual, we let fx be equal to the function which is Loan Seeking X. At point x is equal to 0, Loan Seeking 0 is equal to 0. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x. When we differentiate Loan X, we obtain 1 over x. And for this case, we have 1 over Seeking X. Remember to apply the chain rule and differentiate secant x which means that we should times tangent x secant x if we simplify we should have 1 times tangent x which is equal to tangent x therefore at point x is equal to 0 we have 0 next i'm going to apply the trigonometric identity tangent x is equal to sine x over cos x i'm not going to differentiate tangent x further and obtain the antiratives since obtaining the antiratives of tangent is not an easy task so i'm going to let gx be equal to the numerator sine x while hx be the denominator cos x remember to obtain the point as x equal to 0 sine 0 is equal to 0 while cos 0 is equal to 1 now let's differentiate the function g with respect to x differentiate sine x is equal to cos x at point x is equal to 0 we have 1 differentiate for the second time with respect to x we have negative sine x at point x is equal to 0 we have 0 differentiate for the third time with respect to x differentiate sine is positive cos positive negative will still be negative and now determine the value at point x is equal to 0 we have negative 1 now differentiate for the fourth time with respect to x differentiate cos is negative sine so negative negative becomes positive so we have positive sine at point x is equal to 0 we have Zero. Differentiate for the fifth time, we should obtain positive cos as point x is equal to zero, we have equal to one. Up to this point, we should notice two simple methods. Firstly, only all derivative with value of one, and the plus minus sign is alternately plus followed by minus, followed by plus. We can now form the Marilyn series of sine x easily by using the two simple patches. The plus minus sign must be alternately plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. And we should have only the odd derivatives, so 1 over 1 factorial x to the power 1, 1 over 3 factorial x to the power 3, 1 over 5 factorial x to the power 5 and 1 over 7 factorial x to the power 7 and so on. So this is equal to x minus 1 over 6 x cubed plus 1 over 120 x to the power 5 minus 1 over 5040 times x to the power 7 and so on. Next, without differentiating the function h which is cos x, we can make use of a simple hack to obtain the Marilyn series. From here, we can see that hx is simply the shift in the function gx. From here, we can see that the first derivative is actually the original function, which is zero order. So we should have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we can notice that only even derivative with value of 1. And the plus minus sign should be alternately positive, negative, positive, and so on. By using the simple hack, we have positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on, and must be only an even derivative. So we start from 0, 0 factorial x to the power of 0, 1 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2, 1 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4, 1 over 6 factorial x to the power of 6, and this is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 24x power 4 minus 1 over 720x to the power of 6 and so on. Substitute the series that we obtained and back to the first derivative of f. From here, we can notice that both the numerator and the denominator are polynomials, which means that we can apply long division to form the Marilyn series of tangent x. Let's apply the long division. So we should have 
x minus 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 over 120x power 5 minus 1 over 5040x power 7 and so on is divided by 1 minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 24x power 4 minus 1 over 720x power 6. The rules of term of applying long division is always reduce the first term to 0. In order to obtain 0, we must minus exactly the same value which means that we should times x. x times 1 is equal to x, so that when we minus the entire expansion, we should obtain 0 for the first term. And now let's continue to multiply for the rest of the terms. So we should have minus 1 over 2x cubed plus 1 over 24x power 5 minus 1 over 720x to power 7 and so on. Let's simplify, which is equal to positive 1 over 3 x cubed. Next, we have 1 over 120 minus 1 over 24, which is equal to negative 1 over 30, and this is for x to power 5. Negative 1 over 5040 minus minus plus 1 over 720, and this is equal to positive 1 over 840, and this is for x to the power of 7. Let's continue. Again, the first term must always be reduced to 0. In order to have 0, we must minus 1 over 3x cubed. So the next term should be positive 1 over 3x cubed. Remember to multiply for the rest of the terms. So we have negative 1 over 6x power 5 and we plus 1 over 72 x to power 7. For the rest of the term, we can simply ignore since we want the first four terms only. Let's compute the value and we should obtain plus 2 over 15 x to power 5 minus 4 over 315 x to power 7. So which means that the next term must be positive 2 over 15 x to power 5. Let's multiply so we have 2 over 15 x to the power of 5 and we minus 1 over 15 x to the power of 7. Let's compute the value and we should obtain 17 over 315 times x to the power of 7. So which means that the next term is positive 17 over 315 x to the power of 7. Recall that when we differentiate the function f with respect to x, we should obtain the first derivative or we call f prime x. In other words, if we want to get that fx, we should integrate both sides with respect to x. So that integrate differentiate cancel each other, the x cancel with the x. So we left only fx on the left hand side. So we should integrate the first derivative, which is this series. So we have x plus 1 over 3 x cubed plus 2 over 15 x to the power 5 plus 17 over 315 x to the power 7 and so on. And we should integrate with respect to x. When we integrate, remember, we should take power plus 1 over power plus 1. So we have plus 1 over 3 times power plus 1 over power plus 1 plus 2 over 15 also power plus 1 over power plus 1 and we add 17 over 315 power plus 1 over power plus 1 and so on. Remember to add the constant c. To obtain the value for the constant c, we can refer to the value at point x equal to 0 for the 0 order, which is equal to 0, which means that c is equal to 0, and we don't have to add the constant c for this case. Now let's evaluate or simplify the values. So we have x squared divided by 2 plus x power 4 divided by 12 plus 1 over 45 x to the power of 6 plus 17 over 2520 x to the power of 8 and so on. And hence, we have obtained the Marilyn series of lone secant x and hence be done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.